Well, I'm headed up to Tyler Lake. And it's not every day you go backpacking that you can actually meet the person for whom the lake that you are staying at is named after. Jesus, is that a sentence? It's so easy to spot now that I know where it is. But I walked up and down here a couple times without finding it before. That's Tyler's grave and I am standing on the trail. Huh. Well, the easiest way to find it is to just hike along with somebody that knows where it is. <laughs> um, but uh, other than that, other way is to check your Tom Harrison map because he nailed it exactly. Uh, if you look on the map, you'll see that there's this area of, uh, of uh, vegetation and then there's this area of uh, rock, stone. And the trail runs right next to the divider between the two. And that is so accurate here, it's, it's astonishing. Um, that's the green right there and the stone you can see on, on the left there and it continues over here and beyond that manzanita it's an obvious big old chunk of stone so uh, if you're a good map reader you'll find it pretty easily um, when I came here a few weeks ago this area here was so buggy that uh, me and this one gal we uh, opted to climb up and go over the rocks and the other fellow went forward um, continued following through the trail and did just fine. I am going to uh, avoid the bugs and go the other way. Eh, I'll take you with me. I'm going to climb up and over this. There, there, there's a trail marker here right now, but uh, um, the uh, Forest Service does not like trail markers where there is no maintained trail. So it'll be destroyed and then rebuilt and destroyed again. I could probably cut across that, but I know I can cut across this way. And uh, for those of you coming up from White's Lake, you're looking for this real steep part here. The trail is uh, coming along over there and then does a couple switchbacks, comes up here. And this is what I'm talking about. Go across these rocks here. Someone even put a trail marker out there, and it'll take you to the grave as well. And there it is. It's a nice little, nice little area. Bear with me, I gotta go across some rugged terrain. Now, it seems really morbid to have so much interest in uh, the grave of somebody I've never met, know nothing about. But uh, backpackers uh, have a kinship. I don't know, have an affinity. Being out, dying out here is 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 extreme, and uh, a lot of us backpackers think about. Uh, worst case scenarios and preparing for what horrible things might happen, but we don't really believe we're going to die out here. And here's a guy that died out here. Now he wasn't backpacking recreationally. He was working. He was a working man. And he died fetching after some lost cattle. I don't know why cattle would come all the way up here, but that's beside the point. Um, we figured out uh, with me and the other people that I came here with last time. What the hell is that all about? That's Company B. William Tyler, Company B, 4th California Infantry. 
Um, I looked it up, and that was a volunteer group, uh, mostly based out of Placerville area, that uh, signed up for the Civil War. Never got into any fighting. Never got anywhere near the war. I never left the West Coast, I don't think. Stationed in Oregon and Washington and then Mojave. That must have been fun. Uh, but they never got to the war. And uh, I tried to find more information about Tyler, about how this gravestone is here. I can't imagine it's been here since uh, he died in 19, uh, 1882. It, it looks so new. It, it can't be that old. But I'm pretty sure that it was... Um, uh, I've seen pictures of it in the past, and I'm pretty sure that I've seen a picture of it in a book from the 70s. So, if you look really close at it, you can see it has, um, there's somewhere. There's just not much of it. Anyway, um, I'll, uh, get the, uh, um, GPS coordinate for the grave itself as well while I'm here, so... Good luck in your quest. It's, um, I don't know, I, I, I came here with a couple of people and uh, it was kind of like a treasure hunt. And we found it and we were all excited. And uh, in the middle of the excitement, we started getting a little, I don't know, not, not, not quite melancholy, but you're, you're at the gravesite of a man that died. You have to show some respect. It's not a, just a party. So here's to you, William Tyler. I laid a single flower, and now I'm out of here. Take care, William Tyler. Well, forget that. Um, I tried to walk back on the trail that I pointed out initially, uh, going through the green stuff, and it's way too hard. <laughs> it's way easier to walk across the rocks. So I am going to call this the starting point and not the other one down there. Okay. So, good luck uh, finding Tyler's grave, and be respectful. It is a grave, don't forget that. But it is, it's a wonderful little uh, feature of this area.